In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a multi-camera live stream so you can look super professional online and blow everybody else's live streams out of the water with their single camera setups. You can look the best, so if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. So we are going to use our laptop as our main camera source with the built-in webcam and then our secondary camera is going to be our iPhone. I'm sure pretty much a majority of you watching this tutorial will have the means to do this, the laptop and also a mobile device to set this up. Now what we are going to do is we are going to utilize the scene set up inside of OBS. Now in OBS you can create these things called scenes down here. So we have scene one, for example. Basically, the scenes allow us to switch between different sort of setups within our live stream. So let's start with scene number one, which we've got here, and we'll add our main camera here, which is going to be the laptop. So video capture device. So we'll click the plus arrow, get a video capture device. We'll call this laptop, and we'll click OK. Now we can select the device in this drop down menu. We're going to click the FaceTime HD camera and then as you can see, I appear on the screen. Now the next thing we are actually going to do is we need to connect our iPhone to our computer. Now you may have just seen in that device drop down menu, there was also a secondary option called Ben's iPhone. Now that's my iPhone that I could potentially select. Now there's two ways you can actually connect your iPhone to your computer and the OBS software. Dead simple ways how I've done it here. I'm just using the charging cable directly into the laptop. But you could go one step further and actually buy the OBS app on the App Store, but it's 15 pounds. But the benefits of doing this is you can do it wirelessly so it'll connect to the device without you having to use this cable here. So that might be something you may be interested in using. So we are now going to just snap this to the grid so we fit the screen so you can see the, my full face on the live stream and now we're going to create a brand new scene. So down here we'll click add scene and this time we'll call this one camera 2 and we'll click OK. Now as you just seen I disappeared off the screen which you might be pleased with you'll get rid of that kid with the ridiculous haircut but now you can see we have a brand new scene and we can start building up new elements within that scene, so more cameras, more audio devices, new text layers, whatever you want to do inside of the sources panel here. But we are going to add our secondary cameras. So let's go to add a video capture device again and click add. This time we'll call it iPhone and we'll click OK. The device menu will appear like this and we are going to select Ben's iPhone in the drop down menu and then we'll click OK. Now from this point here, I am going to have to turn the screen capture off on my laptop because for some reason my laptop can't handle sc screen recording as well as streaming the iPhone video at the same time. There's a huge latency delay. So we are going to do that right now and head on over to the GoPro. So as you can see, when I boot up my phone, it is screen mirroring exactly what is on the phone, but in the live stream. So when I log in with my face and sign in, you can see we now have the camera which is on my iPhone being mirrored onto the screen. Now the main reason why we're using Filmic Pro on our iPhone is because it unlocks the camera on the phone. It allows us to set the brightness, the focus, the ISO, all them sort of things that you would on a more traditional type camera. It kind of allows us to emulate that on the phone. But the cool thing is we can actually remove the hood. So as you can see, when I tap on the phone, it removes all the settings bar and it removes that in the live stream as well when I'm tapping on the screen. This is obviously essential because we don't want people to be watching our live stream with all this clutter that it's gonna be on the screen. So this really cleans it up. But I think if you actually buy the OBS app for the 15 pounds, because I think that's about the same price as the Filmic Pro app is anyways, I think obviously because it's natively designed to work with OBS, it's going to stream the camera and remove the hood anyways. I'm assuming so, because that would make great sense if that were to happen. So that might be worth considering looking into the OBS app to purchase instead of buying the Filmic Pro app if that's something you're interested in. Now clearly if you're looking at how to set up a multi-camera live stream, you're probably trying to create the best possible live stream you can. And I think you'd really enjoy this tutorial I did over here where I showed you how to create the best possible audio quality 
for your live stream by utilizing USB audio interfaces. So finally, one really cool thing about OBS is, as you can see, right now my iPhone is in portrait mode and that is what's appearing on the live stream. But as I turn my iPhone to landscape, you can see it automatically adjusts in the live stream to mimic what's happening on the phone. Now I'm going to set my iPhone upside down just so you can see some video over here. And now when I switch between the scenes, you can see it switches camera and likewise it switches back to this camera. And then you can also set up a third scene which has both of the cameras on at the exact same time if you wanna get a little bit fancy with it. So this scene feature is obviously really, really cool. You could have someone sat helping you out, clicking between the scenes for you, switching the cameras if you've got someone in your house who's available to help out. But also, you could map these to hotkeys inside of the software, so little shortcut keys, and you could toggle them yourself while you're playing. If you're really fancy, you could be playing away and sort of toggle between them with a foot remote or something like that. If you want a tutorial on how to set up the hotkeys in OBS, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make it happen.